Hi, everybody. So today I was going to do a podcast, but it kind of fell through. And so uh, I decided I would go ahead and do this tag real quick that Matthew had just tagged me on, my friend Matthew Ehrenholt. I'll put a link to his uh, video and you can subscribe to his channel. He's just sort of starting again. So you want to check that out. And uh, it's a tag on our favorite or movies so far this year. And uh, so I'm going to answer. It's just nine questions. So it should be pretty quick. And I tried to do a Google Hangout, but Google Hangout is giving me all kinds of problems. So uh, it's, it's not showing my video and it's not get, showing my audio. I don't know. It's not working. So sorry. <laughs> I wanted to do a live chat, but oh well. Okay. So the first question is, what is your favorite movie so far this year? And this might surprise you guys because you know how into Wonder Woman I am. And I really love that. But my favorite movie that I've seen so far this year is a documentary called Step. Uh, you've heard me, if you follow me on Twitter, rave about this documentary. Uh, and it's just so inspirational. It follows these girls in Baltimore uh, that are on this Step team. Uh, but it's really about these girls. It's not really about Step. And so you don't have to be into dance to like this movie. It's about these girls and the community gathering around them to help them to get into college. And it's so inspirational. It won the inspirational prize at Sundance. And I've seen it twice. I actually met the coach and one of the moms, and they were amazing. Uh, the director, she was great. It, it comes out the week of Spider-Man. And this is more heroic, in my opinion, <laughs> than anything you'll see from there. I love Wonder Woman so much. That'd be number two. Uh, but I have to go with real life heroes rather than uh, over a uh, fictional hero as my favorite. So, and I also uh, love your name. So those are the three best movies that I've seen so far this year. Uh, and, uh, but technically your name was my favorite of last year, uh, but it came out in theaters, big screen this year. So those are my three favorites, uh, but step, look out for it, put it on your calendar, go see it. It's going to get pretty wide distribution. So you won't need like an indie art house thing. I, I bet you a lot of you, uh, of you will have it available to see come July. Okay, then the next one is, what is the mo your most disliked movie so far this year? Um, my most disliked movie so far this year was Silence. I know it's got all kinds of uh, popularity and because it's Scorsese, I really hated it. I thought it was so, so exploitative uh, with the violence and the torture and the way that it used uh, missionaries and the way that it... It, it didn't portray them, I thought, in, a, in an authentic way uh, where I believed what the characters were saying or doing. And it was a very, uh, to me, it was a very horrible depiction of religion and, and, and missionaries without any kind of hope. And I guess if you want to make that kind of movie, but don't make, don't combine it with this horrible torture uh, and, uh, and just make it so long. And so I just, I hated that movie with a passion. And uh, I know it's well made. I don't care. I really hated it. Uh, and then <laughs> other ones that I, I really disliked that I saw this year. I really didn't like Lady Macbeth at Sundance. I thought it was stupid uh, with characters making just the dumbest decisions, no chemistry uh, between the couple at all. I thought it was just... I thought it was indie rubbish. I didn't like it. Um, I also thought that uh, that Surf's Up 2 was an abomination because I really liked the original, but it was horrible. Uh, Spark, Space Tale is really bad. I thought King Arthur was terrible. <laughs> uh, I, I really didn't like Boss Baby. Uh, so those are some of my least favorite of the year. The Circle was terrible. Uh, it was really bad. So yeah, some of my least favorite so far this year question is, uh, what are movies you're still excited for later this year? Well, I'm excited to get to see Step on again, because uh, I've already seen it. Uh, I am excited for Coco. I wasn't a huge fan of this trailer that released yesterday. I thought the narration was really weird. It seemed like something from the 90s. I don't know. I just didn't think it was that good. Um, but I'm still excited about the movie very much. Uh, and I'm excited for The Last Jedi. I'm really excited for War of the Planet of the Apes and for Dunkirk. Those are probably my most anticipated coming up. I, and I, I'm looking forward to Spider-Man, but that last trailer and poster kind of bummed me out. I, I really didn't care for it. So, you know, we will, we'll see how it goes. But I would say War of the Planet of the Apes, Dunkirk, uh, Step, uh, getting to see that one again, and uh, 
uh, Star Wars, Last Jedi, and uh, the Coco. So those are probably my order. Oh, the breadwinner too. I'm really excited to see the breadwinner, which is an awesome animated, uh, hand-drawn animated film coming out of Ireland. And I love the studio that's, that's making it. So I have a trailer reaction to that. If you haven't checked it out, uh, it looks amazing. Okay. The next one is what are any cool movie merchandise from this year that you have? Let me get it. Okay. So that I love art books for movies and I got a couple that I'm hoping to be able to review on my blog or on this channel sometime. Let me know if you're interested in that, but I actually have the art of cars three. Uh, and, uh, I'm excited to kind of dive into that and, uh, and learn more after I see it. Uh, so I was really curious about their process about how they decided to make it, what their ideas had. So, Hopefully, uh, it'll be a good movie. And then I have the art of Captain Underpants. And this is so fun. It has, it goes all the way back into the design of the book and the characters and also this new studio that they used and how they were able to make it on such a small budget. So yeah, let me know if you want reviews of these books. Cause I can do that. And then I have the art and behind the making of Wonder Woman. I did a little Twitter video of this, but it's amazing. I love it so much. And it even has at the end, it has this envelope from Wayne Enterprises and inside is the photograph you can't see because of the lighting is the photograph uh, that Bruce sends to Dan so that's so fun I really thought that was cool I love these art books have you never gotten one they're so much fun I reviewed a bunch of the ones I have on my blog so you want to check that out. I did that last summer. And so let me know if you like that, if you want me to do more of that. Okay. And then I also have three Funko Pops uh, for Wonder Woman. I have this one with the lasso. It's pretty awesome. Uh, this is one here with the lasso, which I love. And then I have the bombshell one, which is made to look like, like 1940s. It's really cool. With her hair up like that, like we did then. And then I have a traditional Wonder Woman. This is number eight. So this is an early early Funko um, pop. So those are fun. Okay, let's see here. Let's get back to this questions. Um, okay, so then read any good comics this year? Uh, yeah, I actually have been reading lots of Wonder Woman and I read a bunch of Guardians of the Galaxy uh, before that movie came out. So, uh, I, I'm, and I am going to do on uh, Friday night, I'm doing my podcast with How to Love Comics uh, and Trevor from How to Love Comics. And we are finally, we're going to be talking about Wonder Woman. Sorry, it was a week delayed because of just schedules and things. So uh, that'll post probably Saturday morning is my guess. Uh, but uh, hopefully you'll enjoy that and getting to dive into it. Because maybe it'll be better because most people have seen the movie. So they'll like a really in-depth analysis. Okay, then the next one is, uh, and so far I have to say of all of the comics that I have read, I think my favorite is actually Doctor Strange. I really enjoyed reading those a lot. Um, okay, so next is 
uh, the any TV shows you've liked this year. So I did I did enjoy Big Little Lies. That was uh, really well done, very intense. I, I really liked the uh, the finale for uh, for Star Wars Rebels. I thought was really great this season. I enjoyed it, and I I. I don't know. I've been disappointed with a lot of TV lately. I really hated Anne with an E. We have the podcast that's gotten a lot of love. I really appreciate that uh, with me and my friend Amber. And on that show, I dissecting why we didn't really like it. And I really didn't like Sherlock's series four. That's probably my biggest disappointments of the year so far. It was a big, big letdown. I've been enjoying watching Doctor Who uh, for the first time this season. And we've been, me and Jonathan have been po podcasting about that. That's been really fun. Okay, then next, uh, any anticipated TV show seasons the rest of the year? Um, I don't know when Stranger Things 2 is coming, if that's next year or this year, I'm not sure. Uh, but I look forward to that when it comes. That'll be a lot of fun. And I guess that Dark Crystal series sounds kind of cool. I don't know when that's coming. Uh, there's a new, anim they said Animaniacs is coming, but that'll probably be next year. Uh, I I don't know what else. I'm looking forward to the um, Frozen special uh, this uh, December, the Olaf's Great Snowy Adventure or something like that. That'll be fun. I'll enjoy seeing that. And I really love Elena of Avalar, so I'm excited for that to come back. That's a really good show. Um, yeah, so. Survivor, I always look forward to seeing Survivor. Uh, the next is, uh, what is any musical albums you've liked this year? I really like the Wonder Woman soundtrack a lot. I think that is awesome. I've been listening to that. I... I don't know. I thought that the I was disappointed in the Guardians Volume Two soundtrack, but there's some okay songs in it, some good songs. Um, yeah, I'm not a big top forty uh, or popular music person. I rarely find. I don't listen to the radio at all, uh, and so a lot of music that I find is music from movies uh, more than it is from uh, from uh, top forty radio or whatever. A lot of times I listen to the Grammys and I'm like. I didn't like any of those songs or any of those singers. I, uh, I'm excited to get the new Anastasia Broadway album uh, when that comes out. That'll be really fun to hear that. I'm looking forward to that. Oh, and the next question is any anticipated music for the rest of the year? Yeah, that's the one. I, I don't think it's out yet, um, but I look forward to hearing the new Anastasia or, uh, or Broadway recording. Uh, other than that, there's, I mean, I'm definitely going to get the, uh, I also have been enjoying the Cars 3 album. It's actually two separate albums. And Cars, the Cars movies actually have really good soundtracks. It's kind of a, a surprise uh, hidden gem, I guess, in both of them, that you have all of these covers from all these different uh, people and some really good songs uh, and uh, good scores and everything. So I, I, I've really been enjoying those too. But I, I tend to listen to a lot of soundtracks and scores uh, is, is sort of my thing. <laughs> So I'd be curious if you have any suggestions of music that I should check out, put in the comment section and let me know. So that is all the questions. And I thought it would be really fun to tag people that don't necessarily have a channel or that don't have a channel that I'm aware of, but that I talk to a lot uh, to see what their, uh, their answer would be. And to tag Hayden, uh, who I talk with on Twitter all the time. I thought it'd be fun to tag uh, the Jedi DC Marvelite, <laughs> who I ta tag, uh, I talk to all the time on Twitter. Uh, Matthew David Klein, I thought would be fun to tag. So he can just put his answers on Facebook if he wants. That would be fun. Uh, and I will tag uh, Christine Tyler because she's the reason why I didn't have a podcast today. <laughs> so I'll make her do this tag. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yes, and anybody else who wants to do it, go ahead and do it, enjoy it. And, um, yeah, let me know if you end up doing the video on it. So, or, or post Twitter, whatever, you, however you want to respond, that would be cool. So you could just do it in a, in a series of Twitter, uh, answers to the questions. That would be cool. So, uh, thanks so much. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, I will talk to you later and make sure to check out the video, the podcast that Conrado and I did yesterday, uh, going back 2007, 
it's a long one. I know it's really long, but maybe when you're driving or you need something to do, you can listen to it and enjoy it. It was really fun. I really had a great time making that uh, podcast. So thanks so much. And, uh, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.